So I know I've reviewed a number of other fragrances by the brand Kieran NYC, and they also have another sandalwood-based fragrance called Santal Sky. Well, in celebration of the new rooftop that was established at Pier 57 in New York, as well as in celebration of the summer solstice of this year, they actually released a new sandalwood-based fragrance with a similar vibe to the existing one in the collection. This one is called Santal Park. I've been wearing it for some time now. I'm very excited to give you my thoughts on it, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin today's video and I tell you all about Santal Park by Kieran NYC and I tell you what I get from the scent, uh, the smell, the longevity, comparisons to other sandalwood based fragrances, so on and so forth. I do want to start things off by mentioning that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Make sure to hit that bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you take something of value from today's episode. Episode. So here we have the newest release by Kiera and NYC and I love another fragrance of theirs called Sunday Brunch if I'm remembering the name correctly. That one was really 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 nice and the brand has a lot of really great fragrances to offer and this is a sandalwood based fragrance that actually has some brighter ingredients in here too. So there's actually a note of gardenia in here which I think makes it a different sandalwood fragrance from others that I've tried. I know especially with Santal Sky, that fragrance has gotten compared to Santal 33 by Lila Bo, which is a Frank vocal composition. And I can kind of see that for sure. But it's about the other ingredients that you mix with the sandalwood that are going to determine how much the fragrance stands out from Santal 33. So for this one, you have sandalwood. You also have gardenia, saffron, and oak moss. I think it's a very interesting blend of notes and I'm excited to give you my thoughts on the smell. Let's start things off with the presentation. Now, right in the opening of this fragrance, you are definitely going to get that loud and proud sandalwood note. And it is a sandalwood that one would compare to Santal 33 or even Santal Sky. So I do think that, you know, this fragrance and Santal Sky are more like siblings as opposed to cousins. I don't think they're totally different. I think they have some mild differences, but they are definitely of a similar vibe as is mentioned on the website. But you are going to get that sandalwood and secondary to the sandalwood is the gardenia. Now, whenever you think of jasmine or gardenia or perhaps even lily in the case of some fragrances, you imagine a clean white floral vibe that kind of runs through the heart of the fragrance. And that's what happens here. So it opens up with that sandalwood note, but you also sense this clean gardenia kind of floating wistfully in the background. And I think it's a really nice way to break apart that heaviness in the opening on account of the sandalwood which brings forth with it a bit of density and then you also have the oak moss that's residing in the dry down and i gotta say nothing about this fragrance is overly green you know a lot of us when we think of oak moss we think of polo green right we think of a lot of these late 70s early 80s releases you're not going to get any of that here and even in terms of the saffron saffron usually conveys a leathery vibe and i do get a touch of it here but i don't think it's a whole lot and so so really the star of the show, just like its name that is plastered on the bottle is the sandalwood, right? So you're gonna get a lot of sandalwood, but you're also gonna get a generous amount of gardenia, which I think is really, really nice. Now my wife's favorite fragrance of all time, aside from Harajuku Lovers G, <laughs> is Santal 33 by Le Labo. By now, I probably purchased like four or five bottles for her. Right around the holidays, I always refill her bottle or I just buy a new one if I can't locate it. And this one, as soon as she smelled it, she goes, wow, that's nice, leave that upstairs, right? Because my studio is here in the basement. So this is one that she's probably gonna bring back up to the bedroom because she sees herself wearing it. But the only thing is that she does wear her Santal 33 right around the fall and winter. So I don't think she's gonna wear this one just yet. There's a, a new, <laughs> 
Christian Louboutin fragrance that I purchased for her called Lubimar. She's been wearing that religiously, but I do think that this is probably going to be her next signature scent, and I think it's a great sandalwood scent. If you're a fan of sandalwood, but you want this clean white floral vibe that kind of runs through the fragrance, I think this one's for you. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, there are similarities to other sandalwood-based fragrances. And of course, Santal 33 was kind of the pioneer of this whole thing. But a lot of other brands and a lot of other fragrances have utilized a similar sandalwood note. And so now a lot of other fragrances will suffer the comparison. But I think this is great, especially the price point under 100 bucks for what you're getting here, I think is phenomenal. In terms of the longevity on this one, you can expect seven to eight hours. Projection was great for the first hour of application. It radiated an arm's length and then it didn't start to become an elbow's length length scent until about hour three, a skin scent right around hour five or six, and then it totally vanished at like hour eight. In terms of the versatility, I think this one can be worn in every season except for the summer. If you have that association with, you know, woodsy fragrances and sandalwood specifically being a colder weather ingredient, I think you're going to feel more inclined to wear this one in the colder weather, but I would say every season and except for summer, unless you're wearing it indoors and you can pull it off whenever. I think it's perfectly unisex. I think it'll cater to anybody of any age. I think this one is a great formal occasion fragrance. They have a fig based offering, which I think can be worn very casually. But this one I think is more of a formal scenario scent. And in terms of the presentation, I do like the graphic here on the front with the flower. I believe that's a gardenia. And so my final verdict is I think it's a wonderful, inexpensive sandalwood based fragrance with a heart of gardenia that opens up the fragrance and gives it this clean white floral personality that I think serves as a really nice contrast to the dense sandalwood. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed my review of Santal Park by Karen NYC. If you did, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit that bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you liked it, or if you learned something new today. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.